Welcome one and all. Got a brother knife out here. No, this is not the 1503. This is the 1507. It's a longer knife, a little bit different design. I don't have the 1503 here, but you can look at my review of the 1503, and I believe I bring the 1507 out in that. Uh, but it's a little bit bigger knife. Okay. VG10 steel blade. Carbon fiber scales. It's really hard to believe how nice the fit and finish is on this knife considering the price. And, I mean, I'll give you the link to their AliExpress store. I'll give you the link to their Instagram as well. You can communicate with them, direct message them through their Instagram, etc. $38.25. Supposed to be 60 HRC. I never did get this one checked. I think I got the 1503 checked, and I'll try and put the HRC of that down here. Uh, but here's your stats. Okay, 3.2 inch blade. Uh, so that's bigger than the 1503. Also, some of the pictures from their manufacturing facility. Them talking about who they are doing OEM work, this, that, and the other, okay? Pretty lightweight. Check it out here. And uh, let's drop it again. Bonk. Drops right down. Release is real easy. 2.8 ounces, uh, 81 grams. Not bad there, huh? And it's it the, the action's really nice on it. Really nice. And I believe I had looked in here before, and you can kind of see the glint there of the bronze washer. So it's got bronze washers on it. How nice is that? I mean, uh, let me see if I can... Yeah, I can open the blade uh, just using one hand, technically. And then you can drop it just like that. Wow. Wow. Really smooth, nice. <sighs> Comes in a box. Looks like a Spyderco box, doesn't it? It's probably the same manufacturer that makes those because it's the same lousy stuff that Spyderco boxes are. But comes in a piece of plastic inside uh, your own personal burlap bag. Somebody was saying uh, they can keep their marbles in there since they've lost their marbles. There you go. So... Uh, Congratulations on that. Might have been gone a long time. So here we go. Put that all back in there with the plastic. But that's that's how they come uh, in that kind of a box. So, hey, that's as good as many or uh, other knives that are out there. Here, Model 15.0 run right on the end. The 15.07. Now, here's the 1505, comes in the same kind of box. Much smaller knife, micarta scales, also very inexpensive. But you can see the difference in the size, at least between those two. And they're both lockbacks. So, do they release like that? Oh, man, they just drop away. That's good action there. Let's throw the tape measure on it and see if it's really 3.2 inches I'm um, getting just right at and no I'm not poking through the end there uh, I'm getting just a little over three there but not probably 3.2 but I mean we're splitting hairs uh, 76 77 millimeters about seven inches equal and 17 and a half centimeters. What do we got for blade stock? Um, 0. 0.12. Um, let me kick this over here. Come on, come on. Yeah, three millimeters. Three millimeters. Close as I can get right there. Oh, well, let me roll this around like. It's pretty much probably going to be about the same. Yeah, 3.1 millimeters. So, and overall, with 
11 millimeters, so 0.43. And that just lays down really nice, doesn't it? Uh, if you've got one of these, you know, you can chime in. Feel free. Because, wow, they're, it's just a good-looking knife. Not a whole lot to really comment on other than, you know, it's got your little nail nick on this side. Really goes open and close real easy. It seems, you know, pretty solid. There's, there's my centering, and it's centered up. Looks pretty good. Pretty lightweight, not quite the bug out beater. The bug out's about two uh, ounces. And there it is compared to the bug out in size. And it's not far off, is it? Not far off. So uh, this is an option. This is uh, $200. This is $38. Uh well, this has a pocket clip. That's the difference. That's the difference. I was thinking, what would be the difference? Other than the blade steel, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, really, this, all kidding aside, nice little concealable, traditional-looking pocket knife to carry with you. So, what's it like in hand? And here you go. You got a little palm swell and then this. And you put your hand on it, and yeah. Seems pretty good. Now that I'm holding on to the damn thing, let's see if it'll cut anything. That reasonable edge on it, you know, uh, not the sharpest that I've encountered. Um, it's reasonable. I know it would help. Lock back, so it's locked in position, right? There you go. Just give her a little bit of love on the strop. This is my lazy way. And besides, this is already uh, sharp from the factory. I mean, sharpened from the factory, so it's not like I've used it and dulled it down. So I can see if I can improve the edge. Just my messing with it a little bit, huh? Let's give it another go. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that helped. That helped. If I wanted to work on it a little bit more, I could get it razor sharp. But yeah, just uh, that was a, one of those things that you can do when you get a knife that may could have been a little sharper. The 1505. Let's see if that. Oh, yeah, that, that's, yeah, that's all, you, I can tell that's a lot sharper. Okay, that's, that feels a lot sharper than the 1507 did. This one's got a bit of a recurve in it, doesn't it? So, yeah, you got, you got that to contend with. No pocket clip, doesn't need one. Lightweight, two-handed, maybe it'd actually be legal somewhere, God only knows. Uh, all knives are legal in Arizona, so it's great to live in the land of the free, but and the home of the deranged here at LTK Studios. But we love these. Uh, these little uh, traditionals are so smooth, and they're so inexpensive. I think that's, I mean, you know, you can get a really nice knife for $110. Uh, it's like this, but... This, for this price, is really excellent. I haven't heard anybody bitch about these that have got these so far. And I've heard several people uh, talk about them and give me feedback. And they really like them. So, absolutely. I have no problem in recommending these. Uh, go check them out on their uh, store. And uh, contact them through their Instagram if you have any questions or that kind of thing. Really nice, good fit and finish, feel good in the hand, lightweight, and uh, really nice that they did carbon fiber on here. Excellent. Centered up, feels solid in the hand. It's brother.
Right, brother? Take care. You know what we do. We love them knives. See you guys. Stay sharp.